Welcome back to the Kickoff Summit. The season premiere of Moonshiners is coming up next. Josh and Bill, because you guys needed a little help last season, you guys took a special trip down to the Moonshine University for a little training. Let's take a look. Here we are in Louisville. Is it Louisville or Louisville? Louisville. Louis, uh, Louis. The answer's silent. <laughs> Here we are at the Moonshine University in Louisville, Kentucky. Hopefully, we're going to learn a thing or two today. All right, let's go. How's it going? Good, how are you guys? Not too bad. Kevin? Bill. Bill? Hey, Kevin, I'm Josh. Josh, nice to meet you guys. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Welcome to Moonshine University. Nice rigs. And, oh, thanks, thanks. Yeah, they're, they're pretty, aren't they? Well, this ain't no wood setup. <laughs> no, it's not a wood setup. <laughs> so most of the liquor y'all make, it's really more for demonstration. Yeah. For yeah. teaching. Exactly. What do you do with it when you get done with it? Oftentimes, we'll just destroy it. Uh, Destroy it? I know, it sounds crazy, right? I honestly don't see how you can bear to pour that down the drain. That's pouring <laughs> so many drops of love down the drain. This is our cooker here, it's a 250 gallon system. Bill, we're going to have to get us one of these. The point that we're at, I mean, we've been making liquor, but we're trying to move it to the next level and make better liquor. Well, you know, consistency is a big thing. And uh, the first thing you want to think about is the pH of your water. You can do something as simple as this. This is just a little handheld pH meter. This place is awesome. They have techniques and so many tips that blow us out of the water. Lots of little things that I always wondered about, but never really knew the science to, and really never knew anybody to ask. So we started to cook this morning, and it's going to be 85% uh, corn, 15% malted barley. Barley. So yeah. So what the barley is going to do for you is, is it's malted, which means they, they take that barley grain. Uh, it's already sprouted. It's sprouting, basically. And then that malted barley provides the enzyme that's going to convert starch to sugar, which without it, what everything else is useless. It's going really well today, y'all. It's a whole different world than what we've been doing in the woods, but uh, yeah, we're going to try to integrate some of it into our processes. Hopefully, we can get a little bit better product out of it. Smell that corn work. Yeah, you can smell it, and that yeast is going to take all that sugar that we created uh, and brought out with the enzymes, and it's going to convert that sugar into alcohol and CO2. Right on. This is a 250-gallon pot still that has a column on top, so it's a little bit of a hybrid. Where each one of those side glasses are, there's a tray. So as those vapors come up and they hit that first cold tray, it makes them fall back they down. They condense on that on that tray and they drop back in the pot. Yeah. So you're increasing the proof each time it goes up. Whoever came up with that was a freaking genius. Starting to clean up a little bit already. Don't lie Thank to you, sir. Don't light a match. Yeah, don't light a match. Exactly. Wow. So that still might be a little bit heady. Surprisingly good to be 170 proof. <laughs> OK, fellas, we're in the Flavor Man Development Lab. And what we do here is we make new beverages. And we can make a beverage taste like anything we want to. So I know we talked earlier in the distillery about what your favorite flavor was and your favorite color. So for you, you said your favorite flavor was strawberry. And what we have here is we just took a typical moonshine and we made it a strawberry flavor. Because you could have like a green strawberry. Oh my god, that's good. Or a real jammy one, like you want to pick this out and that's so you know, good. put it on bread. So that's just a strawberry, just plain strawberry moonshine. Now we're really going to impress you. Oh, great. So we make a strawberry pie moonshine. So how do you get pie? Well, you need the crust, right? So when you taste that, it should taste like strawberry pie. You can make a pie. flavor that tastes like pie crust. Well, you tell me. You <laughs> taste it. You can smell it. <laughs> I know. Golly. Man. It smells like somebody's been baking. That's amazing. And for you, you told me that your favorite color was green and your favorite flavor was sushi. <laughs> So we came over here and we made a moonshine and we flavored it with sushi and we colored it green. We call it sushi shine. All right. Couldn't you pick something other than sushi? Oh, God. I can't imagine a fish flavored drink. He likes his fish. 